Guy brush places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, now you're in for it. Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Who's gonna make me, shorty? Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you! <laughs> That's a good one! Maybe I won't kill you right now! Whoa. Hey, you're loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone.
How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, Woodchuck could chuck wood as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. Hey, don't touch those. I need all of them. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. The fire's out. I'm no cook. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. I hate fruit cocktail. Hey! Hired help only! I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Nice. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass.
Look over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near Grog. Does but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Wanna see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. I don't want to touch it with my hands. I don't want to gunk up the blade. Hello? I've got enough. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without my monocle. Uh, excuse me. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Where is that thing? Uh, excuse me. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it?
I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Wow, that's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. My name's Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy-fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. I'm sure they are. Uh, well, goodbye. Okie dokie. I swear I put it right here. I hope I didn't lose it. It's blank. I'll never be able to afford a new one. How am I supposed to work? Dang. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um sister once had. I'm such a dope. I can't reach it. Can't I do anything right? Oh, shoot.
Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. And it's securely fastened. Hmm. Only one guess. Argo eats like 30. Be with you in a second. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Hey, how don't peg biter get loose? I'd better go catch him, before he catches somebody else! Cheese squigglies! One of my favorites! I don't need any more. I can't reach it. you into my room I uh, thought it was my room well it ain't so get the f out of here nice get out of my room What do you think you're doing? It's adjusted to my height. I can't reach it. That doesn't seem to work. Hey! Hired help only! Yeah. 
Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. I bet my mom would help me find it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Is that job available yet? Sorry. That guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Wake up! Now what is it? Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Yeah? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop! Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the... Pull there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives.
That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. It won't fit in my pocket. No, we don't clean leather. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No ticket, no laundry. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the clean as they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. 
I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate-covered ants? I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. It was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel-hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Thank you.